The tutorial you are watching is part of Python Fundamentals, probably the best Python beginner course on the internet. Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at a brand new data structure called a dictionary. We're going to be creating dictionaries, adding values to dictionaries, changing values in them. However, let's first ask ourselves, well, what is a dictionary? Well, it's a data structure consisting of paired pieces of information. So this is just like having a word and a definition. All the words known as keys in the dictionary are unique. The definitions can actually overlap. Just like, you know, if you had like cup and a mug are separate words in a dictionary, but maybe the definition can be the same. I don't know if that's the best example, but you sort of get what I mean. So let's create a dictionary. I mean, we can, you create this variable by um, putting two curly braces and now what we have is a dictionary. And now we're going to create some key value pairs. And the way you do this is you go D ta 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 equal sign. So what's in here is going to be the key and what's in there is going to be the value. So um, like if I said banana, I could write a string over there saying tasty fruit. So right now when we print a dictionary, that's a pairing. Um, but I could also go, hey, D4, and that could be a string on that side, 4. As you can see, you can use string, floats, integers. You can use just about whatever you want. So if I run a dictionary this way. So there is no limitation to what you can put, really. I can go D of five equals to a thousand not sure what the relevance of that would be but these are three keys and these are the values now if i was to change the d of banana the the value here would be permanently changed so it would no longer say tasty fruit it would say whatever i put in here yellow and yummy so if I print out the dictionary, there you have it. So let's think of a, a particularly good use case. So like, let's say you have a person and let's say her name is Jane. You usually use, uh, you don't use capital, capital letters for variable names, but let's keep this real world looking. So Jane could be a dictionary and this is, where we can store information, perhaps about Jane, age, dun, dun. and Jane could be 29. And then we can have Jane. Um, residence. You could have doo -doo -doo. Melbourne. Dun, dun, dun. So as you can see, you can add as many attributes as you want. There is absolutely no limitation. One seventy two. Okay. So now that we type in Jane you have all of these. Now you can just add another one if you want. Um, you can change these values, you know, at some point. Jane. Age. By the way, you could refer to it like this. If you type in Jane age, it's going to say 29. And you can now change it to 30. And now when we say Jane, we've changed that value. So as um, you can see, you have an example of how dictionaries can be useful, how to create them, how to add values to them, and how to change values inside them. In the next tutorial, we are going to look at a really fun use case, and we're going to make dictionaries of um, synonyms and basically use that with some imported text. See you then. 
Hello there. Good to see you watching these things all the way to the end. Make sure you don't miss any of them, so the subscribe button is going to be bang there. The playlist for Python Fundamentals, the series you're right now watching, right there. And a whole host of other different Python videos you may want to check out over here. Happy viewing. See you later.